Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the latex research paper writing. Today we will discuss about how you can wrap the text around the table. Like here, you can see this is your table. How you can uh, present the text either on the left hand side or on the top, bottom or on the right hand side. So this is the objective of this today's short video. So myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. You can contact me. Either of my email IDs are there. If you feel any doubt. related to the latex research paper right so uh, how you can wrap the text around the table so this facility is provided with the help of this wrap fig package and it's a very useful package which is not only to uh, float around the images but also float around the uh, uh, tables are there so how you can use this wrap figure are there you can simply use this uh, wrap fig package called as a use package of the wrap fig in the preamble of the latex i think all of you know that what is the preamble that is whatever you have written before the document begin document that is called as the preamble like here if you see i have this is my begin document whatever you have written here this is called as the preamble so you have to written wrap use packet wrap fig in here once you have written here then the syntax for uh, uh, wrapping the text around the table is here so you have to start with the begin table and the end table and you can see there are the two blank curly braces are there and these are called as the uh, uh, in parameters so in the in the wrap table there are the two parameters are there the first parameter is corresponding to the alignment second parameter is corresponding to the width of the figure or width of the table if you are working on the table then you can call as the table or whatever if the figure then it's a figure now what is the alignment is if you want to place your table either on the left hand side l is represent for the left R is for the right, C for the center, I for the inner, O for the outer. Where I and O, that is the inner and outer, are used when you are using the two-sided manuscript. On the other hand, what is the width of the table or what is the width of the figure? So, if you want to use the table, then you can write here as a table. So, if you want to place the table as say of the five centimeter, seven centimeter, nine centimeter, so you can place here as either the five centimeter, seven centimeter. or the 0.25 width of the text how we can use them so you can see uh, this is the way we have learned in the last lecture how we can construct the table like if you have the three columns you can construct here how you can construct the text around them so what you can you can do that you can simply replace this begin table and end table this is the construction of the table now you can how you wrap the table you have to replace simply previous begin table and the end table with this line so i use this r it means i can place this table in the right hand side 6 cm is my width of the text so you can see i can show you in the in the latex are there so you can see this is my table so here you can see this is the begin table so there is no wrap text so that's why there is no text written in, uh, around below and so on if you want to place this table on the center so you can write here as a centering and if you want to run this tables in the center now if you want to wrap this text above below bottom and so on so what you can do is you can simply replace this with the help of begin wrap so if i write here as a begin wrap r is my right 5 cm so once i run it so you will see the output will be like here you can see i use the here as a r so this is my r table on the right hand side that uh, text are written on the left hand side bottom and the top if you want to move here as a 6 cm you can see what is that this is the width is increases here if you want to move more as a 8 cm width you can see the text will be here if you want to replace instead of the r it's a l that is a left you can see the table will be appear on the left hand side and here but if you want to write here as a width say 2 cm what is the meaning of that that the text will be overlapping what is the meaning is that the figure the starting from this boundary line uh, this where the that this table has the width is 2 cm so since the width of the table is more than of this so you can write here as a 3 or say 4 you can see this uh, table will shift now still is there so you can set as a width of here as a 5 cm now it is automatically adjusted otherwise you can also use a 0.25 of the of the say text width so it will adjust automatically here you can see the text width are here so that is a 1 by 4 on the other hand you can see like here 0.5 of the text width and so on 
similarly you can write if you want to use as a centering then again you can use them as here so this is a way you can wrap the text around the figure so you can see the table is in the center but if you want to put as a comment you can see the table is appear on the uh, start from the left hand side arc. if you want to put here as a r it will be table start on the right hand side so this is the way you can wrap the text around the table we will see in our next class how we can wrap the text around the figure like say this is my figure how we can wrap the tables uh, how we can wrap the figures text uh, text around the figures if uh, i hope you can simply learn these simple tricks are there uh, otherwise you can simply follow this link for finding the more updated videos on the latex and the other texts till then best of luck students happy learning